If you were in love with someone, wouldn't you want to be the one who decides how you spend the rest of your life with that person? I would. Which is why I've chosen to tell you why I firmly believe gay marriage should be legal. First, I will tell you what states do and don't allow gay marriages. Second, I will explain what some view as the pros of gay marriage. Third, I will explain what some view as the cons of gay marriage. And lastly, I will explain to you my personal opinion about gay marriage. My first point, where can you marry someone of the same sex? According to the National Conference of State Legislature, Massachusetts, Connecticut, New Hampshire, Iowa, Vermont, New York, and the District of Columbia are the only states to allow same-sex marriages. New York and Maryland are the only states to recognize same-sex marriages from other states. In California, Idaho, Washington, and Oregon uh, grant nearly all state-level spousal rights to unmarried couples, which we all know as domestic partnership. Hawaii, Maine, Wisconsin, and the District of Columbia provide some state-level spousal rights to unmarried couples, which we know as domestic partnership. The National Conference of State Legislature also stated that the California Supreme Court ruled on May 15, 2008 that same-sex couples have the right to marry in California. Proposition 8, which amended the California Constitution, defines marriage as between one man and one woman. And that was passed on November 4th, 2008, just shortly after the first one. On August 4th, 2010, a federal district judge ruled that same-sex marriage ban in Proposition 8 violated the equal protection provisions of the U.S. Constitution. Enforcement of that decision has been stayed pending approval. California does not currently allow same-sex marriage, uh, but the marriages performed before Proposition 8 still remain valid. I think it's sad that the gay and lesbian communities um, were finally heard just for it to be taken away, but I am glad that the marriages that were performed are still valid. My second point, the pros of gay marriage. According to balancedpolitics.org, they had some good pros and cons. Um, One is denying them is a violation of religious freedoms. Another one, uh, marriage benefits such as joint ownership, medical decision making um, should be available to all couples. Homosexuality is an accepted lifestyle nowadays. Denying these marriages is a form of minority discrimination. It doesn't hurt society or anyone in particular. The only, one, the only thing that should matter in a marriage is love. The number of child adoptions should increase since gay couples can't procreate. It encourages people to have strong family values and give up on high-risk sexual lifestyles. The same financial benefits that apply to man and woman marriages apply to same-sex marriages. I think that all the pros that I just stated are very true. I mean, why shouldn't same-sex same-sex couples have to go through divorce or custody battles. I feel they should have to experience lifelong commitment the same as we do, same as a man and woman. And the effects of a breakup or a divorce, I mean, it's a tough thing to go through. And if you don't have to be married, you know, I think that they should have to experience all aspects the same as us. Why not? My third point is the cons. The cons listed on balancedpolitics.org included most religions consider homosexuality a sin. It would weaken the definition and respect for the institution of marriage. It could provide a slippery slope in the legality of marriage. It confuses children about gender roles and expectations of society, and only a man and woman can procreate. The gay lifestyle is not something to be encouraged. As a lot of research shows, it leads to a much lower life expectancy, psychological disorders, and other problems. Again, these are people's views um, of the cons of homosexuality. Another con was stated by Seth Foreman. 
He said that federal judge Vaughn Walker's ruling in August on California's Proposition 8 uh, that gender no longer forms an essential part of marriage. Uh, this confirmed the view that marriage is foremost about sexual choice and not reproduction. The cons that I stated are all fixable things. Sure, if a gay couple decided to have children, the child may have some confusion, but a child learns and adapts to many things every day. Lastly, my personal view on gay marriage. What I'd like to know is, says who? Why is it okay for a 65-year-old man to marry an 18-year-old girl, but uh, two women or two men aren't allowed to? It just makes no sense to me. I guess I'm still curious why it matters whether two men get married or a man and a woman get married. Is it really anyone else's choice but the people who are in love? I thought this was a free country. I know you're wondering, but um, I personally am not a homosexual. Uh, I do have a family member who is my aunt. She is a um, professor at Webster University in Missouri. She lives with her partner and their two children in a beautiful home. Notice I said partner. Missouri is not on the list of states that allow same-sex marriages. The children are so happy. They're smart, spoiled. Uh, they don't seem confused. And if they were, their my aunt and her partner would discuss it with them. Uh, the house is full of love and support like any normal family. And love is love. Does anything else really matter? In conclusion, I've told you about the states that do and don't allow same-sex marriages the pros and the cons of about gay marriage and my personal view about gay marriage. Honestly, I think that the pros outweigh the cons. People should make their own choices when it comes to who they love and marry. I hope that you feel that gay marriage should be legal just as I do. Thank you.